let us wait few more minutes for other participants to join and the session will begin at sharp sign five Good evening, all. I am Ardra, program team member, ETI Foundation. Uh, yeah. Welcome to our highly anticipated online event. I am thrilled to be here today as we embark on a journey of knowledge and inspiration. We have a distinguished speaker joining Mr. Andran Skanakillam, a highly accomplished individual in the field of mechanical design. He is a certified solid work professional. 
Over, over the next two days, our speaker will be sharing valuable insight, tips, and best practices in SOLIDWORKS. Without any further ado, let us extend a warm virtual welcome to Mr. Arun Skanakilla. Welcome, sir. The stage is all yours. Thank you, Ardra. So, I'll uh, present my screen. Hope my screen is visible to all. Okay. Yes, sir, visible. So, uh, um, uh, good evening to everyone present. Uh, so, uh, though we have very few uh, audience, uh, let's start. So, since it's seven six, uh, we'll start uh, the session. Okay. So, uh, before uh, starting. Uh, our uh, like agenda. Uh, let me give a brief introduction about myself. So uh, my name is Anuranj Kanakilam. I am a 2022 uh, mechanical engineer pass out from NSS College of Engineering Palakkad. So currently I'm working uh, in Alstom Transport uh, in Bangalore uh, as a graduate engineer uh, training. So in SolidWorks, uh, I am. Uh, I have a certified uh, SolidWorks professional in mechanical design, and I have uh, some of other uh, SolidWorks uh, design certifications. So later uh, they have given me uh, a, like um, they provide a tag called SolidWorks Champion. Uh, that's a tag given to very few, I guess. Uh, uh, like those who have taken uh, many certificates, uh, about five to six certifications, they provide a uh, SolidWorks champion. And those who are uh, similar to this event, uh, those who share knowledge about SolidWorks to different people, they uh, award them as SolidWorks champion. So I'm one of them, SolidWorks champion. Okay, so I think, uh, though I'm a professional in SolidWorks, uh, but I'm not much professional in uh, taking classes. So pardon me for if I, I have any, uh, I'm making any mistakes or uh, if you are feeling any, bo bo if you are feeling boring during the session, but I'll try to make it interesting and interactive. I believe uh, usually uh, in past years, uh, CAD design means when we think about CAD design, it's just uh, mechanical, uh, civil, that's all. But uh, at this age of uh, multidisciplinary, uh, multidisciplinary uh, like engineering coming, I believe CAD is one of um, one of a basic requirement for every engineer. Like as I told, I'm working in Alstom, so there we manufacture trains, metro trains, and locomotives. So I have uh, interacted with my friends there. So. There are uh, friends who, who who is coming from electrical background, but she or he has to uh, do CAD or should ha means will have an interaction of CAD. So I believe CAD is everywhere, and um, if you are going for research, also uh, you can't just stick on with a, a particular branch. Of course, you will have to go um, beyond your branch, and of course, CAD is a simple as well as uh, a good tool to learn and it's also a good um, skill to add to your profile and uh, so so CAD what like when we start thinking about CAD or computer aided design so I, uh, I started uh, like spelling it CAD so what is CAD it's a computer aided design so um, when we think about computer aided design before computer aided design so uh, every like machinery we build require drawings we can't just start uh, building anything without drawings so earlier um, we used to draw with our hands or, or uh, like engineers uh, draw using um, i think we have um, uh, drawings uh, cad drawings graphic drawing uh, sessions uh, classes in our first year so that's a basic so um, 
like we are drawing very 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 basic drawings during our graphic sessions but imagine a uh, drawing very complicated design in that uh, like paper so when we are drawing a simple drawing itself we are making number of mistakes and we have to um, like take help of rubber or sometimes if it's a huge drawing means if it's a complicated drawing means we may have to discard that paper and uh, get a new paper and start drawing from uh, like scratch so uh th those are uh, the difficulties faced by engineers during uh, early ages so i go there uh yeah so this is uh, what i'm uh, i was explaining so early days uh, we used a draft scale uh, and a big canvas like uh, like uh, components uh, when we draw assembly drawings we have to draw the parts again and uh, it becomes a tedious job for engineers during that time but through introduction of cad like we can reuse or uh, yeah. we can edit there, there are n number of plus points for cad so um that's our there are uh, just few advantages of cad and i think uh, i like it's it would be a theory uh, part if i go explaining the advantages and disadvantages so before we proceed uh, let uh, i forgot to uh, give a brief uh, idea of uh, today's agenda so as uh, ardra mentioned today we are having like we are uh, planning uh, for a two day session so the first day i don't want to make it a huge uh, like uh, dumb or um, a huge, like a vast knowledge into your uh, like to you so i'll give a, a brief introduction today i will uh, to uh, brief introduction of solidworks then um, as you i believe like most of the uh, audience are like don't have much uh, interaction or much idea about solidworks so that's why like some may be having idea and some may be like uh, like pros in uh, uh, designing but i take uh, like the least uh, means uh, the least person so so for him like i will give a basic uh, introduction like system requirements uh, the interface and i just start uh, start um, designing 2d and 3d models so cad we discussed so at present like, apart from solidworks we have many cad uh, dr cad uh, softwares available in the market these are uh, some a uh, very few like uh, which i am mentioning here so we have solidworks it's from dassault systems i think you have you, you all be heard about dassault dassault aviation uh, means uh, recently it means not recently but uh, in past years we have uh, like uh, we have bought um, rafale I, I think that you would have heard rafale aircrafts from dassault uh, aviation so their uh, software wing is dassault systems it's a french company so the solidworks is a software from dassault systems and uh, other uh, similar software uh, is cad dassault system catia it's al it's also a cad uh, software um but it's more into uh, like uh, industrial use uh, software so um then then it's uh, siemens nx so this is also a uh, uh, industry so industry uh, used cad software like some in like some companies use uh, siemens nx some use solidworks some use catia and uh, like automobile company uh, mostly use creo ptc creo so these are uh, like some very few uh, cad softwares which i am mentioning apart from this uh, if you take um in colleges we you usually uh, go for autocad i think autocad um you will be familiar with uh, some of you will be familiar with because it's a basic uh, tool um, which is taught in colleges the other um, basic software would be solid edge from siemens itself so it's a, it's a uh, basic uh, software um but it can be also uh, used for learning uh, designing of course mm, then other software as which i didn't mention uh, like is fusion 360 it's a new software um new means uh, compared to these all uh, fusion 360 is a new 
so i will discuss uh, more about fusion 360 uh, tomorrow after we uh, uh, we have a brief idea about solid works uh, i will at end i will give a glimpse of uh, fusion 360 Uh, it's also an interesting software uh, to learn and uh, i won't uh, say to uh, say you to learn all the softwares i would ask you to stick on with one software uh, you learn the basics you learn how to design and uh, you will be comfortable with any software later on because at last uh, these softwares run on a similar principle uh so the drawings would be all the principles we use for drawing uh the 3d models the tools everything would be similar only but as uh, software changes their name would be different uh so 3d uh, some uh, names would be different that's the only difference uh, that we could see so uh, don't go to learn every software because it will of course it will consume your time uh it will um, it will make you confusing and uh, it won't be helpful so stick on to one software and uh, try to learn um, like more about that software so in my case um, i have learned solidworks so i have tried to uh, explore more about solidworks and uh, yeah then okay as uh, we go so person who is uh, who has in uh, who who does not have the software will be having a doubt will a uh, solvex uh, support in my laptop or my computer this is the answer for that uh, yeah. this is a uh, uh, like data from the solvex site itself so don't be like shocked oh my god i don't have uh, for example i don't have an 8gb ram to run solidworks uh no issue uh, i don't have a graphics card I, my like my laptop has an in, uh, um inbuilt or what you say integrated graphics card no issue but this is the recommended uh, specs uh for uh, smooth running of our uh, uh, software um but i don't uh, like i like uh, i don't uh, i want to suggest like you should buy a new laptop to learn solidworks if you have a laptop that's enough uh, like i have started when i was in college i didn't have a, like what to say a powerful laptop or my laptop was if i if i remember my laptop was uh, i3 uh, and it's it was sixth generation and the ram was 4 gb uh, so like uh, it's 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 way back uh, like way old model compared to this spec but still uh, i i installed solidworks i started learning later though i uh, upgraded my ram to 8 gb which made it little more smoother for the running uh, apart from that uh, i3 6th uh, generation uh, was smooth in uh, design so i would say like if you have a laptop okay you start um, uh, design you start learning learning uh, for learning you need not have a, you know you need not require a powerful laptop but if you are like planning to buy a new laptop of course then uh, try to get a laptop which supports um, solidworks so that we, we can uh, like last a little longer so for in that uh, like if you are buying a new laptop go for a good spec laptop uh, then you can run Uh, like if you are learning cat later you go for simulation or like it later you update your knowledge or upgrade your knowledge you uh, go for a higher like complicated models you need high spec laptop so it means the software will ask for more performance so uh, it's better to have a uh, powerful laptop or else to learn basic laptop or basic uh, computer is enough so before uh, we going uh, into software like other doubt that everyone will be having is where to get this solidworks lab uh, software so one direct answer would be um, download from solidworks site but uh, i won't suggest you that though it's the legal thing but i won't suggest you that because 
if you see uh the student version costs you uh, 10000 rupees for a year okay so it's a one year license uh, and uh, it will cost you 10000 uh an year and uh, wait a second uh, yeah. okay so so i won't uh, suggest you to uh, go and install uh, means go and purchase a new lap uh, like of course if you are buying a new laptop you are buying a new laptop for at least um, i believe uh, it would cost you 80k or like that then if you are going with this again adding 10k i like to learn i won't suggest you to buy the software if you are like if you have the cash and if you can of course it's the best option you can get you download i mean you purchase it or uh, uh, that's the best option so uh, i would give uh, like I, i won't call it as a suggestion but what i did is you can get cracked software but i won't suggest you because it's not uh, legal um it's an illegal uh, part but of course we always uh, go for um, uh, cracked version software uh, for every uh, paid softwares we use so for that i would suggest you a site called get into pc so you can uh, uh, go through uh, go to that site uh, after this class i will uh, like i will put that link in this chat of course Mm, then you can go into that site and get the software and the installation process is also a little bit um uh, tricky not tricky but it's a long process but a video is available in that site itself uh, so you can refer that video and uh, install that uh, solidworks okay so all good uh, so let's so let's go into our main topic is software cad uh, our solidworks software so when you open the solidworks software um, this is how it will be looking so uh, it will show a welcome page here it always it will be like this so here we have three options uh, part assembly drawing today we will uh, look into part tomorrow we'll look into assembly okay so uh, when we open our solid works uh, page or what to say uh, software uh, we will when we start at the part design we will have this window mm, uh, wait a second so mm, so uh so this is how um the screen uh, will be visible to you so uh let's just get in uh, like uh, introduced to these uh, like tools before we start uh drawing and all so uh as we know that uh, before going to 3d drawing we must have a 2d of course 2d drawing so from 2d drawing only we will uh, like generate the 3d model i believe uh, means i think uh, like some of you may not have solidworks with you but uh, like it's difficult for you to uh, like just watch and understand but uh, please uh, like try to understand and after later you can install and um, you can try it's it's not a big deal uh, to learn solidworks by your own but if you get an idea uh, it's very easy so try to make an idea with uh, this two day session and later you can uh, start uh, drawing if you have solidworks ready it's good 
you can uh, you can try in parallel or you can just listen and uh, try so this is a sketch so the name we use in uh, for 2d drawing in uh, solidworks is sketch then uh, we have smart dimensioning so of course when we draw uh, we should give dimensions so we use smart dimension so uh, the tools we use for drawings are like of course uh, the basic uh, would be like basic of course is a dot or we call point beyond that it's line uh, in line itself uh, we have three options like uh, if you want to draw a, dry, a line uh, one thing is we must require two points uh, and uh, Th this is that like we, if we have two ends we can draw a line this is a center line like if you want to um, uh, like if you want a line which uh, which should not be part of the drawing because when we convert it to 3d it, it should be not part but it should be a reference line so for that we use a center line this is a midpoint line so midpoint line is like we click a point and uh, like we know the like, like this is where uh, the midpoint of the line we needed so in that perspective we can use this midpoint line this may be requiring in like uh, if when we are drawing uh, like complex part these these are uh, like uh, required uh, when we are starting we need we just need us like the first option only then we have rectangle uh, rectangle also there are number of option like two if we, if we know two corners we can draw a rectangle or if you know the center and one uh, vertex we can uh, like one uh, corner we can draw a rectangle or uh, if we have three points three uh, corners we can uh, draw a rectangle then uh, if you have three points like one center point one midpoint and one uh, corner we can draw a rectangle and parallelogram these are like slots uh, this like this won't be required in first stage or uh, if you are like if you are uh, taking a drawing with slot it may be required but if you are like going with a simple uh, design this may not be required, but it's uh, knowledge you can uh, get. So we, if you want to uh, like draw a slot, slot would be like, a, it's, it's a similar to ellipse, but it's a, we can't call it as an ellipse. Uh, it would be a, like a combination of rectangle and uh, uh, semicircles. So for the uh, slots also, we have different options to draw a slot. Then is circle is a very important uh, drawing because everywhere like almost in every um drawing we will be using circles lines and rectangles yeah. so these three are the very basic uh, features yeah. we are using arcs of course arcs also we can draw like uh, arcs with, uh, with three features or three options here you could see one center point uh two points in the arc then uh, with a tangent and two points or three point arc. Then we have polygon. Spline, it's a like curved line and uh, it will be more uh, required in uh, uh, like what to say, if you're drawing surfaces. Surfaces, uh, it will be spline would be uh, like- Hello, sir. Uh, someone has, hello? Much, uh, useful, you, useful. Hello? Yeah. Sir? Then it's ellipse. Of course, you everyone knows ellipse. Okay. Sir? These are tools which we use in um, uh, what to say mm -hmm. our uh, drawing. Okay. I think we have chat. Zoom. Mm. Okay, let me try to. Mm. Increases font size or like that. 
sorry i couldn't uh, see your uh, chat box zoom feature um, sorry man i couldn't find uh, i can check in properties no oh, sorry mm. uh, that i uh, like this is the size i usually use and uh, that's why uh, sorry i like i couldn't find the feature to there of course there would be feature to like increase the size uh, but sorry i couldn't find it mm will we have oops. zoom feature uh like is it uh, very difficult to see or is it okay you can unmute no issue uh, like uh, you need not to like of course no issue in chat also but if you are free to unmute and ask no issue and one thing uh is don't call me sir i'm just as uh, that's why i um give you a brief introduction about myself i'm 2022 graduate like uh, just uh, year, like uh, have been like one year ago i was just like you sitting there so there is no point in calling sir okay so i think he gave a okay signal to go uh you can just uh, like uh, see and okay these features are available here okay you can uh, keep in your mind and when you are using soldox okay this is so here and like there are descriptions so don't worry line the name is there if you like if you don't even recognize the like uh, image you can just go and see line and we have a description of line also don't worry then so every every na name is mentioned there uh, there is no uh, any other like assistance you will be requiring uh, when you draw alone so mm, so i thought of uh, like drawing this uh, model uh so if uh, like if you are if you are uh, taking a drawing the first thing is like we analyze how to uh, like th the cad drawing i uh, like i didn't mention it before um when i told you about like learning one software is enough because uh, it's like uh, uh, what we learn um, mathematics if you learn addition uh, with one or two numbers it's enough you can do addition for like any any numbers you, like uh, if you know 1 plus 1 is 2 then uh, like Uh, you need means the teachers need not uh, teach you again what is two plus two. If you are able to uh, like uh, learn one plus one and you learn the numbers, you can like uh, get the answer for two plus two, or you can like do for any numbers. So similar to that only uh, like CAD. If you learn one way, you can uh, like uh, draw or you can uh, do any design. So uh, here. when we see a drawing be like first thing that should uh, come in our mind is how to approach because at first itself we can't drawing a com uh, like we can draw a complete draw, like model okay so um we need to like plan how to start drawing so uh, if you see here we have a basement and two structures yeah two structures one option we can draw from here like 
like uh, like uh, if i like you will may, like you may get some t- like confused but i'm sorry uh, but you will understand when i start drawing but like if you have any like if you are landing in any confusion please don't hesitate to open your like uh, put on uh, on your mic and ask the doubts but uh, i'll explain uh, in my way so we have many options we can draw from here this view or this view okay and uh, other option is we can uh, draw like this like if you could see here so here, here is a drawing so like um, if if you um, if you take like 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 you should uh, have a book or pen like a book or book and pen when you design because sometimes you may like uh, need to uh, draw with pencil or pen to understand how uh, this happens to take sorry and and i'm not good in paint also i'm good in, i'm okay in solid works but not good in paint or oh, start becoming straight okay but no issue i think you are understanding sorry i have reset chair okay it's like this okay so okay. sorry so when you are uh, drawing from side it's very difficult to draw with mouse okay it's uh, very boring sorry um so from side it will be looking like this one thing is uh, this drawing also we can directly draw like this or we can draw a, a complete rectangle and cut this area so like this these are just idea so don't take it in your mind and uh, like uh, uh, get confused these are ideas like i'm saying that you need to think before you draw that's the like uh, point i want to uh, like uh, like i want to uh, tell you is Uh, think about how you approach the problem uh think uh, before thinking you should learn, like you should have idea how to draw and means after this class i think you may understand how to draw so you will uh, like when you approach a pro- problem next time you will think okay how to draw and each t- so with experience you are uh, uh thinking will change and uh, with experience you are approach the problems will change uh, and uh, so as a basic we will start with a complete rectangle okay so if you click here as we all know that we can't draw in air we need a plane to draw so i take right plane so uh, so to select a plane i think uh, when we go near the plane we have um this the like uh, it's highlighted so it means we are going to select that plane so if you are going for top plane it's showing a uh, top plane highlighted front plane highlighted now it's right plane highlighted if we draw in like a right plane okay so here we have an origin so uh here i selected the center point and one corner mm. so if if we go uh, like um here i think you could you can see a blue dotted line which shows the center point which are which we are going to click is vertical to the origin we click there and now like we have to fix one uh, corner so 
I click here. Sorry. So here we have a rectangle. Then uh, you can see that the lines all are blue. In SOLIDWORKS, blue lines means it's not okay. Uh, okay. Sorry. In uh, SOLIDWORKS, blue lines means it's not okay. It means it's underdefined or means it's it's not unique or we can call it as the dimension is not defined. See, if you can drag, like if you draw and uh, kept like this, another person will open your laptop and he can change the dimension and go. Or uh, uh, this uh, is rectangle is not unique. Um, so that's why we should give that dimension. So for that dimension, we click smart dimension. We click on this line. And uh, we can see the dimension it's written there. We click and we uh, they are asking us, us to confirm whether uh, that is the dimension we needed so i'll go with uh, with uh, what is the dimension mentioned it's 24 24 mm so uh, so those who have a like idea about graphics uh, will know that the basic unit we use is mm and uh, here uh like the first thing is sorry to mention that I, I didn't mention that first thing that you have to check when you open the solidworks is the unit so here we have mmgs millimeter gram second here we have uh, all other units so some drawings will be asking for inch some will be in meters some will be in centimeters so you can select the uh, default um uh, default uh, units and start drawing. So here, it, 24 means it's millimeter. Then 100. So click. I click here. 100. And still it's blue. Because we have set uh, the rectangle, so rectangle won't change. Like the size won't change, but the position is changing. So we have to fix it. So in this whole space, only the origin is fixed. So we, with respect to origin, we have to fix the drawing. So if you take, you can fix any point. So, but to feel, uh, uh, to be like um, symmetric, We'll go with uh, keeping it in the midpoint of the lower ed uh, lower uh, edge. So how to? So if you click here uh, and uh, control uh, press control. It means when you select diff uh, like uh, different folders, you press control and different multiple folders, right? Similar to uh, uh, similar to that only. Uh, you click this point. If you come to this line center, the midpoint will be like highlighted there. You click there, then click origin. So here uh, will be they will be asking. So it's a Soldox is a smart software. It understands what uh, what we are thinking. So it has many relations coming. Should we make it horizontal? Yeah, we need to be horizontal. Okay. Should it be a vertical? Okay, uh, that but that's not the requirement we need. Should we uh, like uh, make it coincident? Yes, that's what we need. So we click it. So it's coincident. It now it's now coincident. So that two points are now uh, same. So it's now black. The lines have become black. Means it's fully defined. If you like, if you do like this, it won't change. Now. Uh, now we have to cut this area. Uh, 
for that okay so uh, now since we have drawn this rectangle we we like, uh, we need to convert this into 3d so that's the requirement of uh, 3d software so for 3d so area we have here features like you could see there are many options but i am not going to like we don't we will not be having time to go through this all, all these options these are the basic uh, thing you should uh, like uh, understand or you should know here also in 3d we have many options uh, at present i like i would suggest not to go to all these options let's stick with uh, basic uh, options and uh, first learn basics then we go for advanced if i get time tomorrow i'll definitely go through these also uh, options of course so this is extrude means converting 2d to 3d so i click on extrude so when i click on extrude immediately solidworks guest so uh, he wants to convert 2d into 3d so which all are the drawings available in here just when they check they saw uh, there is a rectangle available here so they suggested that okay this rectangle has to be extruded yeah and it gave a, a random number called 10 mm it will be taken from our experience like earlier we would have designed so if you are giving 10 mm increase every time so next time also when you click extrude they will suggest are you going for 10 mm or more so here it's given as 10 mm so wait uh, let's see what is the required it's 160 so we are solid works to change the 10 into 160 we can give 160 mm or just 160 is enough uh okay before giving that uh, let uh, let me introduce uh, this slide so we can extrude in many ways one is blind extrude blind extrude means it will be extruded in this way or if you are changing the direction means uh, we can uh, go extrude in the opposite way no issue other are like a uh, little advanced like if you are doing a complex design uh, we can extrude to a particular vertex or we can extrude to we don't know the dimension but we will be we are saying i need to extend from this end to this surface but i don't know the like here we know the 160 is the uh, like uh, length we need but there we don't know the length we just know that we have to extrude from here and reach here or one surface so we can give up to surface or we could say uh, i need to extrude till this like 10 mm from this surface offset to surface we, there we could use this option up to bodies as we are we will be drawing different different bodies uh, like complicated designs we, we can call it as a complicated design uh, uh, we can uh, use that feature mid plane is all, mid plane is a basic feature so mid plane means equal to both side so we can maintain is what to say a symmetry here we can go with symmetry no issue click done so here we have the first 3d model it's a cuboid okay this is uh, like what to say far from what we need here so uh, we draw a cuboid here now we have to cut this area uh these three parts we have to what to say cut or delete so for that uh we need to draw again draw so we can now, like earlier when we started drawing i think you have seen we had three planes now we have three plus or to say uh, six more planes six planes of this cuboid also we can play draw like uh, on this plane also so for that we take sketch again sketch 
like we have we can go with uh, like what to say top plane front plane right plane or the planes on this uh, cuboid so for that click here so it's uh, showing a right like right hand like uh, top view i mean so a view like this then we need to cut this area so uh, these four areas so before i can draw two lines but we can't cut with two lines we need a close closed area to cut uh, for that i take um, corner angle, uh, rectangle because i don't know the midpoint i just know the corner so i point like when i am going here i get the point i click here i like around i uh, just draw here and then is other like we have to draw here okay so uh, other thing which i mentioned to uh, like introduce my uh, about me is i'm little lazy so i feel like uh, drawing of course i love drawing but sometimes when i'm drawing too much i become lazy so that uh, each time i like i don't want to draw rectangles circles n number of times so what i do i do like simple tricks to avoid uh, uh, like drawing multiple drawings so for that we can use a feature i will uh, like i will introduce to that feature so that's for that uh, we need to like complete like we define this to uh, rectangles then i will introduce you that feature so before defining of course defining means uh, before uh, this uh, rectangle uh, like dimension i think you can see uh, these two lines are black means these are defined means this point is defined and uh, hence these uh, lines are defined that's why these two are black and these two are blue so if i give this dimension uh what uh, it is to 12 12 and um 12 and 12 yeah 12 uh then this is 10 and 52 and uh, this is 52 but similar to earlier we have to make this and this coincident done so uh, i don't want to give this 12 again so what i do i click here i click this line click this line uh, there are relations available i give it as equal done i need not to give uh, this 12 again because now like uh, like if I, my, my manager comes and tells we have a change in this drawing it's not 12 it's uh, 20 10 both side are not 20 if i give a separate 12 means i have to change that with 12 also again to 20 so as i mentioned i'm little lazy so i can't do that much work so that's why i do some tricks uh, like this so that my work half is done so we'll go with 12 again oh we forgot uh, to draw here for that we can uh, use uh, like a familiar option called mirror so you can mirror one object to here 
so for, for like uh, when we uh, like for mirror we need a mirror or if we see ourselves in a mirror means we need that plane since now we are uh, like at present we are doing three, uh, not 2d i mean not 3d 3, 2d because since we are in sketch means we are doing 2d though we have created a 2d a 3d but now we are in sketch uh, like you can in top we can see sketch means we are in 2d so in 2d we need not require a plane since only we have a plane we need a line for a mirror so for that as i mentioned we can go with this line but it will be like uh, awkward or if you like if you are um, having n number of lines it will be confusing so we can go with a reference line there so i click the reference line option i need here in middle so when i am drawing here you could see there is a blue icon coming just near to my pencil showing its vertical line means the line i am drawing is vertical so i draw and uh, here is it's enough yeah i stop here so here we have mirror entities i click here then entities to mirror they are asking which are the parts to be mirror i select like this like like the, like uh, these features may not be available in different softwares but uh, these are available in solidworks that's why i love solidworks so like when we uh, copy folders co copy like uh, drawings or I means copy anything from in folders also we use the similar feature to select all the entities we need to select every one completely like if you are selecting like this means this line is not selected because it's telling that i am not selected completely you are you have not covered me completely so why should i uh, be coming with you so this will say no i, I like i like uh, i should be completely into this uh, selection so i have to select all uh, but i need not require this line also so i stop here i selected all so here i am getting line 1 line 2 line 3 line 4 or other option is uh, like so suddenly you saw that uh, suddenly uh, this uh, got unselected like we can click escape button to unselect these are like basic features we use uh, not in design we use everywhere so this uh, applicable in solidworks also it's very simple it's very uh, like user friendly like one of the best user friendly softwares i have like uh, i have used solidworks i have used uh, fusion i have used uh, scatia and next a little bit uh, out of all solidworks is uh, like it's beauty it's a uh, very user friendly i love the interface a lot that's why i'm like still in software uh, solidworks solidworks Though my uh, in my company we use Katia, but I go with SolidWorks. I like SolidWorks to learn to explore more. I like SolidWorks. So here I uh, okay. Uh, mirror entities. I mean that option got uh, like deselected. I uh, means off. So I on it again. Select. Uh, here I have copy. I click copy. It's the default. It, it like that's I that's I like I mentioned before. So it looks in no. What we are doing because it has a n number of experience with uh, drawings. So it knows what we are going to do. Like we, uh, if you are doing these steps, it guess uh, it makes guess uh, what we are doing. It mostly it will be okay, correct guess. Sometimes the guess won't be correct, of course. If you are so brilliant, we can like uh, our, our next step, uh, like SolidWorks can't predict our next step. That time we can change. Now, if I click yes, okay, it won't come because I didn't select the line. Here I select again. I select, they are asking which, what uh, is the reference to which we have to mirror. So I select this line and it's showing a preview with yellow lines. 
Okay. It's there. Okay. So, mirror. So this took uh, this mirroring took a long time. Uh, it's a little uh, longer because I had to explain. Uh, you'll be thinking, oh, this must this is taking too much long. Uh, this guy could have draw uh, like uh, draw a new uh, square there. It would be have been like more easy. But uh, when we are uh, this is because I'm explaining. Or else it would be like two uh, five uh, like uh, five second uh, task to mirror. So. Uh, this just I have to show because these are all basic. I, I'm explaining in a basic way. This can be used in in a complicated way. So I think we like uh, if coordinators allow, I, I can proceed more uh, since it's eight. Uh, shall I? Shall I? I don't think we can complete this whole drawing, but can, we can finish this base. Is that okay? Okay, sir. You can continue. Yes, sir. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Am I audible? So I'll. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, you so can I'll so it's finish. Okay. okay, okay. I'll finish this piece and uh, let's see. And again, don't call me sir. It uh, feels I feel a lot hearing sir. Uh, okay. Uh, then. Uh, so. I, the drawing is uh, complete now. Next is I have to cut this part. Like I have to take this part out. So in uh, like I go to features. Here we have extrude cut. So earlier we used extrude, extrude to convert two D into three D. Ah, uh, okay. Is there any chat? No. Wait a second. Mm. Okay. So it's a message from my sister. So she is also in this chat. I expected uh, she is uh, reminding me of anything, uh, something. Don't know. Okay. Uh, we can continue. Um. Okay. So like, uh, yeah. like um, using mouse, we can rotate and all. That you can, when you open SOLIDWORKS, you will understand. I'm not going to that basics. You can use mouse key to do this, that, to that. Uh, I'm not explaining in that deep uh, way because you can, you will feel when you are into the software or when you are doing, you will feel how to approach. In one or two days, you will be familiar with it. Okay. So in extrude, uh, as I mentioned, extrude, we, like, we use extrude to convert 2D into 3D. Now we have to like add material. We use to add material. Okay. Now we have to remove material. So for that, we use extrude cut. We click, as I mentioned, Genius SolidWorks uh, predicted that we have to cut these three areas to this much. Very good. As I mentioned, 160. How did it guess? Because we have used it earlier. They have brains. Okay. Nice. Good suggestion. So our base is ready. Okay. Uh, now, till now, are you having any confusion? Because like, I'm going, uh, I know I'm going a little in a high pace. Uh, like I don't, I, I, I like, I, I learned SOLIDWORKS with a five day training. So when you are going with a two day training means, uh, I'm uh, like consolidating that five day training into two. So it will be tough for you. I can understand that. Uh, so if you have any doubt till now, you can just ask me. There's a session I uh, in uh, this what to say our ask me anything. So uh, like hello coordinator. So if you can stop with today or uh, with the base and continue tomorrow, is that okay? Or it's okay, sir. According to your convenience, anything is okay. 
I think the audience is also very few. I think oh. we can uh, st uh, like stop if 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 you have like if anyone have any query, we can clear that and uh, you can ask no issue. Anything related SolidWorks or anything. That's why I named that session as "Ask Me Anything." Go ahead. Don't uh, make this as a class uh, that yeah, uh, you have like you have experienced in colleges or like that. One thing I have uh, started I mean, like uh, uh, before the session, I asked uh, coordinator uh, Ardra whether I have to go with English or Malayalam. Like she told me that we can go with anything, and she told me that we can expect uh, like audience from out of Kerala. So that's why I continued in English. And some of my friends, though, uh, for a joke, a joke uh, told me that they will be joining. So that's why I continued in English. Uh, I didn't like, I don't want to make it, uh, it, it as an formal way. So uh, you can uh, speak in Malayalam, you can uh, ask anything. Anything related to how to install software or I have explained still. Of course, tomorrow I can explain you how I got uh, certified. And uh, of course, I can show uh, the path in which you can go and get certified. Of course, that's a uh, we can call as a suspense that I will break tomorrow. Come on, guys. People are leaving. Okay. Okay. Uh, are there if, if in like no one has uh, any queries? Okay. So then we can wind up the session. Yeah, we can wind up the session. Uh, before concluding the event, I would like to take a moment to remind everyone to provide us with your val valuable feedback. Uh, the feedback form is given in the chat, bo chat box. Also, I would like to inform you that the recording session of today's event will be made available on our official website. Uh, thank you all for joining today's session. I would like to take this moment to thank our speaker, Mr. Anand Skanakilam, for sharing your insight and expertise with us today. Uh, the talk has been both informative and engaging, and we appreciate the effort you have made in preparing and delivering it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Anandal, for your presence. Uh, thank you. You can like uh, if you have any doubt, uh, like if you like as I mentioned, uh, some of you may not have software access now. You can install it. Uh, you can uh, when you are do, like doing uh, the design, you can contact me. I will share my uh, contact details. You can contact me anytime uh, if you have any doubts uh, or like if you can contact the coordinators or like that. Uh, you can do anything and. Um, you can clear the doubt. I'm like, I'm always happy to clear uh, doubts uh, for you. So thank you. Thank you, sir.